So here is an example of calculating the inverse of an element in z over nz. Here the element is 19 bar and we are looking for its inverse in z over 48z. So uh, before we do the calculation and apply the extended Euclid algorithm, the first thing is to check that actually this element has an inverse in z over 48z. So the GCD of 19 and 48 is equal to 1 because actually uh, 38 is 3 times 16 and has powers of 2 and 3 is in its decomposition and 19 is a prime number. So the GCD is 1, so we know that we can calculate the inverse. So in order to do uh, this calculation, we use extended Euclid algorithms with the U, V, R, and Q columns. So actually here, we will have to be careful about how we initialize the U and V column with respect to the values of 19 and 48. So here, A is equal to 90, N is equal to 48. And remember that we are looking for a UV couple such that A, which is 19 times U plus N, which is 48 times V is equal to one. So why do I take some time uh, to write it uh, because we, have, we will have to be careful about which of the two values, that is A and N, is associated to U and V. So actually, in the R column, we always begin with the greatest number, which is here, 48, and the other is 19. So what would happen if we... Uh, uh, use 19 instead of 48 in the first line, actually, that won't change the result, but that will give one extra line of calculation, uh, uh, which is not useful. So the quotient is not used in the first two line. And here, in order to initialize U and V, be careful that here, the coefficient which is associated to 48 is V. So, the initialization story is the following. And same thing here for you. So, actually, the columns are uh, uh, quite switch uh, uh, with respect to the algorithm. We've used that example uh, in, uh, in the course uh, some moments ago. So, now we can, um, we can start the calculation. Note that actually we are only looking for the value of the U coefficient. Actually, the value of the V coefficient uh, doesn't matter. So uh, if you want to be as efficient as possible, you can uh, omit to fill the value of the V column. So in this example, I will fill it uh, anyway in order to be sure that everything is okay for the calculation. But actually, the final value of the V coefficients uh, is not useful for uh, for the inverse. So the quotient here is two. So two times 19 is 38. So uh, let's compute line number two as line number zero minus two time line one. Here it's a 10. Here it will be zero minus two times one will be minus two. And here one minus two times zero will be one. So let's go on and the remainder is uh, not equal uh, to one. So now it's 19 divided by 10. The quotient is one. And this line is line three, is line one minus one times line two. So let's go for it. Here, the reminder is nine. 
one minus one times minus two is one plus two is three. Zero minus one times one is minus one. Here, let's go for uh, for a normal line. Here, ten divided by nine. The quotient is one. Ten minus nine is one. Minus two minus one times three is minus two minus three is minus five. One minus one times one is one plus one is two. So let's go for the last line here. Nine divided by one, the quotient is nine. The remainder is zero. So actually we can go and compute the U and V coefficient, but here zero in the R column mean that it's the end of the algorithm. Furthermore, we know that we have the results on the line above. So U is minus five, V is two, and the GCD, actually we knew the, G, the GCD before, but the algorithm tells us that it's equal to one. So that's all for this little calculation. So what can we do from this result? Actually, as I've told you before, uh, the value we are looking for in this algorithm for calculating the inverse is only the value of u. So the inverse of 19 bar in z over 48z is minus 5 bar. And actually, as we are always looking for having a final result, which is uh, where the number under the bar is between 0 and n minus 1, actually between 0 and 47 bar, we uh, use uh, minus 5 modulo 48, which is 43 bar. OK, so from a number, you can uh, add or subtract any times and here 48 as you want in order to reach a value which is between 0 and 47. So actually, writing the inverse is minus 5 bar would be OK. But please remember that all final results should be between 0 and n minus 1. So we should find that here. The result should be one. So this we can check because 19 times 43 is 817 bar. Actually, if one computes the results with a standard calculator or a computer, the result is actually one bar. So uh, we can trust on the result we've found uh, with the extended Euclid algorithm, but Sometimes, especially if it's your first calculation, you can check and multiply the two values. Actually, if they are inverses, then you will find some intermediary results. And using simplification with the modulo, you should find one bar as a result.